Now, I did move these out quite far. So, I might have to... I might have to really stretch to get this in here. Is this even gonna... Alright, good job. I got, like, a small percentage in there. That's, that's, this is not, not, not close enough at all. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Gold Rush. We're here on a very rainy day in Alaska. I've kind of been working a little bit in between videos to earn up some gold. You might not know it necessarily by the amount that's there, but I have been spending a little bit too. So, I was trying to use the front end loader to sort of pile up payload that I could then use my excavator to load it into the wash plan. But what I was finding was that I'm just going a little bit too fast. So I keep maxing out the wash plan, then I go slow down. And of course they have the scenario where you can kind of jump out and collect up um, the uh, the uh, the buckets of magnetite, but you know ultimately that's um, that's really kind of a nuisance. Uh, it pays well, but it's really tough, kind of constantly jumping in and out of the vehicle in order to try and do any kind of work. So what I did was I went and I purchased another wash plant. I'm going to head back to the store to pick that up now. Uh, I was hauling the uh, the magnetite trailer at the time when I bought it, so I wasn't able to bring it back. We're going to set up two wash plants side by side, and I think I'm probably going to forego using the front end loader for now until we can get to the point where we're working on a tier three wash plant system, because it just doesn't seem to be that that efficient based on where I have my stuff set up. I, I think if we're down at this this leading edge of the payload or the uh, the pay dirt, then we might actually make better use out of that front end loader because we can just dump it straight into the tier three wash plant. But in terms of like the little mobile wash plants, uh, they, they work pretty well with what you can put in from the excavator. But beyond that, they, they get overloaded really fast. And oh man, I'd like to say it's, it's slippery out here because of the rain, but you know, the reality is this truck is just hard to handle. It always slides all over the place. Before we pick up our new mobile wash plant, I do have a couple of errands to run. Man, loading is really brutal in this game sometimes. Uh, we're going to go here and uh, sell off some of our gold so we get some cash. We do have a number of employees that are drawing down our income. So you can see our money is, is steadily going down. Uh, and that's exclusive of the loan that we have out as well that, that certainly also costs us money every day. Um, but they are producing some gold for me. So there's, a, there's another four ounces of gold. Well, right on the button too. 3.99 is what it said I had. But we ended up, it said four ounce bar. So I don't know if it just rounds up or whatever. But... Uh, so we have our gold bar. We're going to want to go sell that. Uh, these fuel cans, I think, are both empty, so I need to fill, fill up both of those. Uh, then we'll go and we'll grab our uh, grab our new mobile wash plant. And we'll take that back to the uh, back to the claim. And we'll get it all set up with our other wash plant so we can kind of load alternately in between the two of them. All right, we're back at the store. This is where we're going to pick up our trailer, so you, or the uh, the mobile wash plant. You can see it's already sitting right there. I think I already have enough hoses and wires and everything to make that work, so we shouldn't have to buy any more of those. However, we have been increasing the number of employees we have out of the claim, and in order to keep them busy, we need to ha keep having things for them to work on. That's kind of a funny system, because you don't actually have to have full setups of things. You just have to have the right stuff for them to do the work on. So we can have them working on hog pump, or sorry, the hog panning. And I can even do ones that have a uh, hog pan pump, even though we don't have a pump there necessarily to, to use it. That doesn't have to be really set up. You just have to have it in place. So we can go $50 for the no pump or $200 for the pump. I'm going to grab two of these, I guess. Uh, maybe we we'll get three. That'll give us a little bit of room for us to bring in some more employees so that as they, they're they getting to work in there, we can kind of kind of get a little bit more out of them. I'm also starting to kind of refine the employees that I have. So I, I started taking just anybody... You know, figuring it as long as we've got them there working, then you know ultimately it would be good. But the reality is, uh, sometimes you know, they cost more than what they're really producing. So I'm trying to get so that I have employees that have a higher percentage work time, uh, and that way they'll uh, they'll produce a little bit better value for the money that we're spending on them. But this will at least let us kind of higher up to the point where we're full. And then once once we have somebody working all these, plus the ones that we already have in place, then I'll start to get a little bit more picky. We'll fire some people. As we find new employees that are going to have a higher a higher percentage worked, and I think uh, I think ultimately that will help make our operation a little bit more profitable. Right now we're we're hovering, you know, we're not we're not completely broke, but we're not necessarily hovering in the best place profit wise. And I really would like to step it up a bit. Now I think the real the real key to that is getting the the tier three wash plant working. But in this game, once you have a loan in place, you have to run through the full duration of the loan. You can't pay it out in advance. And whoop, uh, come on. Nope, overshot. 
little forward. Bingo. So even though I had enough money to pay the loan out at one point, eh, you really can't. You know, you're just sort of stuck in a position where you have to you have to service the loan for the full duration. So that's what we're gonna do. And we'll see if we can make enough gold in the meantime. We're back to the Arnold claim. The rain's still falling, although it's not like a torrential downpour or anything. Uh, we're going to park the truck here momentarily. I'm going to get the uh, the hog pans we just purchased out of the back of the truck. Now, I'm just going to take these over and just toss them over by the river. Uh, they, fortunately, they don't really need to be set up or anything, which is kind of nice. So we can just have these things hanging out over here, and that'll let us choose an employee to work on it, even though technically they couldn't, because, you know, we don't have, like, a pump, and we don't have all the sluices and everything set up, but it doesn't seem to matter. So we're going to game the system a tiny little bit, trying to get a little bit of extra extra gold out of this. And see if we can turn a little bit more of a profit than what we have been so far. Now there is a bit of a bug in the game too, where every time you log out, some of the employees that you had previously assigned to a task are no longer doing it when you load back in. So I'm going to have to go and check on that also. There we go. Just maybe fill up the whole the whole spot there with those uh, hog pans and we'll see if how much how much gold we can pull out of this, even though it's not really realistic. Uh, all right. So in here, we check out our workers. Uh, let's just flip through these quickly. Yeah, see, this guy's already unassigned. Or maybe it's because he's a slacker. I mean, he only works 32% of the time. So maybe he's just convinced that uh, that he can get away with not working or something. Because uh, it looks like the rest of these are assigned. Oh, this guy's not. 62%. We definitely want him assigned to something. Hogpan pump. Let's get him on there. All right, good. Uh, and I think we have one waiting. We do. 40%. Uh, it's not great, but I, I want to fill up all the items that I have. And then uh, once we have all those in place, we have seven employees now, but once we have all those taken up, then... So we have a hog pan, no pump, and a hog pan pump. It's like two hog pan pumps still. It's hard to tell. So that's one, two, and then no pump. Okay, great. So we'll put him on a pump so we can hire two more workers with the stuff that we have in place now. And I think that will do well at earning us a little bit of more gold. Uh, and then I, I still want to get out there and we'll, we'll do a whole bunch of gold capture ourselves. Oh, I forgot I had buckets in here. I bought so many buckets. I, I'm just losing everything. Uh, that'll let us do a little bit more gold capture out here with our mobile wash plants, and then we can try to get that total up a little higher and put a little more extra cash in our pocket and actually start making some headway. I really do regret getting that loan, uh, only because I didn't make one big enough. I mean, if I'd taken out a bigger loan, I could have gone right to a tier 3 setup and instead all I got was a front-end loader, uh, which now I'm finding limited usefulness for. All right, I have the new wash plant placed here. Now, I'm going to have to move the other plant because in all the digging and stuff, I created this little mound of dirt here, and you can never really flatten this out properly. So you kind of have to go on diversion ground. Let's grab the magnetite out of here. This thing's really full. Uh, we'll take this over and dump it in here so we can get some, some magnetite started in this trailer. That should give us 10% in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to focus a ton on magnetite collection. I do know that it's fairly profitable. You get 10,000 per trailer load, which certainly adds up over time. Um, but it does mean you have to constantly jump out of your excavator, which slows down your gold capture. And I'm curious to see which will ultimately be the more profitable venture in the long term. So, uh, let's get this wire out of here. Try to coil this thing up. Oh, uh, wouldn't you know it? I put it right underneath the other... Right underneath the other wash mat. Well, let me pull it. It does. It ignores the physics of it all and lets me pull it right through. So that's good. Uh, so we'll get that one down there. We're going to need to disconnect the hose. Um... Because we can't move anything as long as this has stuff connected to it. As soon as you connect things to it, it becomes like permanently entrenched. There's just no moving it. It's kind of a weird setup, but whatever, it works. Uh, there's our hose. I think I have another hose in here. Yeah, I do. That's good. So we're going to need this uh, on this side of the pump. And then here's our other electrical wire that we'll need for this other, uh, other wash plant we're setting up. That's good. Let's get this disconnected. Hopefully it doesn't roll on me. Nope, we're good. All right, and now we need to move the other wash plant and try to pull it right up beside this one. Oh, should probably do this with the brakes off. Works a whole lot better, oddly enough. Uh, all right, backing into this thing is now backing up with this truck is not my forte. It's not like it's not like driving a real truck necessarily. Oh, uh, I kind of want this to be better in line because if I have to drive in a weird angle, I'm gonna end up messing up my placement of these. I want them to be pretty close together. Oh, that was awful. All right, we got it. Uh, I do want that to be close together because I want to be able to, to really easily scoop from one to the other. If we can get enough pay dirt close by, then basically we'll just end up 
Come on, how do we, there we go. If we don't have pay dirt close by, then basically I just put one scoop in one, and then one in the other, and, one, and then of course alternate back and forth, and that way we we'll, should fill, be able to fill it up pretty quickly. Uh, we'll make a little bit more efficient use out of the fuel that we're spending in our uh, in our excavator. And hopefully, is that lined up? No, nope. I want that to be a little bit more forward. Uh, roll back a tiny bit. Perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Sweet. Man, I might even be able to use a front end loader with that if I could actually get the thing around this way. All right. Hopefully it doesn't shift when we unhook it. Uh, we're gonna find out in a moment, I guess. Nope. Perfect. Oh, nice. So I can squeak in here in between to get the bucket, which would be good. I can connect our connections. That's perfect. Uh, let's get this truck out of the way. Now, hopefully this this helps dramatically increase our gold take um, because it has been taking a really long time to get all the gold that I need out of this thing. Oops, I should probably turn the engine off. Save a little bit of fuel. The truck doesn't seem to draw too much fuel, uh, but it does use some. So, you know, we want to make sure we don't unnecessarily waste it. Uh, let's put a little, a little more fuel in here. We might have to fuel up our excavator too. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Oh, that's good. This thing was all the way down to 12%. We just about tapped it out. And then we have uh, maybe one or one or two other pumps to fuel up, I think. All right, everything's fueled back up again. We're going to need some buckets out here. To get these on our mobile wash plants. My plan is ultimately to fill up as many buckets with gold as we can. And we'll try to get... We'll still get some magnetite along the way, but... I don't know. I, I don't want to spend too much time jumping up and down. I, I think I'm, I'm only going to swap the buckets for the magnetite ultimately when I get down to swap the gold buckets. Um, I do know that we'll be letting some money kind of we'll be letting some money go ultimately that way um, because it, the magnetite does pay pretty well uh, but it's just such a nuisance having to get up and down constantly uh, is this bucket empty yeah there's another empty bucket there so we're trying to put this one in place at the end of this one if I can nudge it in there correctly I don't think it has to be super close but I figure the more accurate can't hurt okay so that's all set up now we're gonna need hoses on here uh, we have two outputs, fortunately, for the small line. So we'll put one on there. We'll run this all the way over to the other side. And where does this thing go? Oh, here we go. So we've got one hose on there. Same thing on this other side for this second wash plant. And I really hope this does a lot to increase our gold take. Uh, that is that that's that's not going to reach that way. All right, we're going to need to need to go around the other side of this thing, I guess. Uh, and then hopefully I can get it from here. Yeah, I can. Good. Perfect. Oh, it went like right through the machine. Nice. Uh, this cable can go all the way around here. Like, yeah. So that's all connected. And then, fortunately, there are two outputs for this this thicker power line. It's funny that it only has one output for the smaller ones. But that's okay. Out here, we just need the big, the big fat wires. Uh, that is all ready to go, and we're ready to run pay dirt. Uh, I did check the fuel on the uh, on the excavator. It's like half tank, so it's pretty good. You can see all the area that I've already dug out here, trying to harvest some gold. Uh, we've gotten a fair amount out of this, and I moved a bit with the uh, with the front end loader over here. Uh, I tried to make a, a like a roadway up here that I could drive up, but I could never really get it smooth enough. So it's not really not really a good smooth ride, unfortunately, for the front end loader, um, which is really not great. But you know, we'll make do with what we have. Uh, let's get into this. Uh, well, actually, we should get everything fired up, I guess. And then we can hop in the front end loader, or in the uh, excavator. Okay, everything's fired up. Our employees are hard at work producing some gold for us out of the uh, uh, the other systems that we have. Now, uh, this um, this excavator I don't think is positioned close enough here. I'm, I'm going to have to see whether I can even reach with this uh, in order to get both of these. Uh, see, we've got this in driving controls. So I'm digging. There we go. Uh, in order to get this actually filled up, we're going to have to make sure that we can even reach. Uh, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Let's give this a little little scoop. Okay. Now, I did move these out quite far. So, I might have to... I might have to really stretch to get this in here. Is this even going to... Alright, good job. I got, like, a small percentage in there. That's, that's, this is not, not, not close enough at all. Uh, so we are going to need to try and scrape up some of this dirt that's... Oh, I'm actually getting a little stuck on the machine. There we go. Uh, we need to scrape a little of this dirt that's kind of right... Oh, no. Uh, see, the trouble is, this thing can't can't even things out very well. So, I think we're going to... We might have a bit of a problem 
trying to reach this for the moment. I might have to reposition a bit. All right, it's not the smoothest setup, but I think I have this positioned well for us to do some digging again. So we've gotten 22% in one one bucket already and 9% in the other. We've only done a few scoops, so overall not so bad. Uh, let's try and get some serious pay dirt through here now. Uh, I am really curious to see if I can if I can keep this... Oh, that wasn't even a full scoop. Uh, if, if I can keep this going efficiently enough to keep both wash plants fed, I mean, obviously getting a partial scoop like that is obviously not going to not gonna cut it, but... Uh, if we can get some full scoops in here, there we go. Then we might be able to keep both wash plants fed pretty much full. That one's at 57, 56. Wow, there's some weird lighting conditions going on there. There we go. I think actually the limiting factor here might be the rotation of the excavator now at this point. It's funny how the, the lighting's kind of flickering around. That's going to get really irritating really quick. Uh, all right, so let's go try dump in here. I don't know what the deal is. Like, if it's just changing... Uh, maybe it's the camera angle. I'm going to change this around just a little bit. There we go. Maybe we'll see if that helps with the, the shadows a bit. All right, so another full scoop there. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure if we can keep this going and keep it relatively well fed, uh, we'll increase our efficiency a little bit, and that should get us a little bit more... a little bit more gold in our pocket, and then hopefully we can start to produce more of a profit here, because so far I, I think we're mostly kind of breaking even on this place. And that's not really the objective you want. If you're going to spend all this time, effort, and money in the, in the gold mining, obviously you want you want to turn a profit. Unless you're the Hoffman crew, and then, you know, you just kind of want to survive to dig another another season. <laughs> all right, come on. Oh, man, it's getting a little, a little bit stuck in there, which is weird. This is good though. So where I was maxing out before, and I kept, I, I couldn't keep it, couldn't keep it fed properly because I had to sit and wait all the time. Uh, I think now we're actually getting like an unlimited ability to dump dirt in here, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna focus on trying to fill up a whole bunch of buckets now with some gold, and we'll see what kind of see what kind of gold earnings we can make out of this uh, this particular setup. We started digging pretty late in the day yesterday, so I decided just to keep digging all through the night. We have uh, eight buckets of gold concentrated in the back of the pickup truck already. Uh, these will be the last two that will gather for now. Uh, we're getting pretty low on cash. We're down to under $3,000. Now, our employees, fortunately, have been producing some decent gold for us. So we got about eight ounces of gold there, which will give us a, a, good, a good amount of cash. I, I'm undecided yet about whether they're really producing a profit or whether they're just sort of breaking even. Uh, I have a feeling there might be some small amount of profit there. It's just not a lot. Um, this uh, this setup that we have now, though, with the the double mobile wash plant, seems to be working pretty well. I'm getting I'm getting gold relatively quickly. Uh, I've only been focusing on the magnetite buckets each time that I move the gold buckets, so we're probably you know not even probably we're definitely losing an opportunity there in terms of gathering magnetite that we can sell. However, we will still be able to garner at least one full trailer load out of this night's work. So I got 10 gold buckets out of this, basically, and we'll have one full magnetite trailer. Um, you know, again, you get something like $10,000 every time you fill out the magnetite trailer, so it's good money. It's just that it's a really big hassle, and it really slows down your gold production if you have to constantly be getting out of the excavator in order to switch the buckets around. Now, if you had another player here, and this was like a multiplayer game, that would be great. Because they could swap the buckets while you continue to dig, but that's just not really an option right now. So we're down to the last amount here. I probably don't even need this scoop to finish out this last bucket. No, I definitely don't. Alright, so let's put the bucket down here. Shut this down, we'll hop out. Uh, get all of our systems shut off here. Because we just don't need anything else running now. We'll go do a little bit of a cleanup because we're going to need the money. We're down to 2800 now. There we go. This is gold bucket number 9. So I'm really hoping that we get a decent uh, a decent accumulation rate out of this. I mean, if we got something like uh, like 9 or 10 ounces out of this, I think that would be pretty good uh, for a day's work anyway. We started, I think it was um, somewhere around mid-afternoon when we started the prior day. We dug all the way through the night. Uh, and now we're on to the next day. There's that one bucket left there that we had the magnetite in. Let's grab this gold bucket. That gives me 10 full buckets of gold. Well, gold concentrate anyway. I think so. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 10 buckets. Nice. Get that all closed up. Uh, we need to shut all this stuff down because we don't want to waste any of the fuel. 
And I have forgotten to turn these off a couple of times and completely completely used up all the fuel that was in uh, in some of the different pumps and things. Okay, the uh, the very last pump that's up by our little cleanup facility there, I'm going to leave that one running because we're going to need that to clean up the gold concentrate anyway. And we're also going to want to hook up the magnetite trailer because we're going to need to haul that out. It's now full at 100%. That'll give us a nice influx of cash. I figure by the time we get all this cleaned up and we get that magnetite trailer over, uh, we're going to be pretty close to, like, right down to nothing. So, definitely, uh, definitely going to be running this a little bit tight from an, uh, from a financial standpoint. All right, we're back at our little cleanup station here. Hopefully these, uh, these guys that we hired are actually producing some decent income. Actually, that reminds me, there are two more employees here that I could hire. This is certainly going to speed up the loss of my income a little bit, but... Um, he works 13 hours, 54%, 32%, 40%. I kind of feel like we should, I don't know, maybe 48%, 55%. So Norbert Thrower. All right, we'll, we'll hire both of these for now. And then now I'm at the point now where I think I'm going to try to try to improve the efficiency of these guys by making sure I'm only hiring people that are actually working for a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Hogpan, no pump. All right. Well, actually, put, we'll put him on the, on the pump because he's got a 55% uptime for work. Uh, Timmy Shockley is only at 48%, but he does work 14 hours. I guess that's, that's good, I suppose. Hawkman, no pump. Those are assigned. Okay, great. Uh, so we have nine employees now, and I think I'm just gonna... The next time I hire somebody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until I get somebody that has a, a decent amount of percentage worked. And we'll use them to swap out somebody who's at a lower percentage and try to make sure we're sort of maximizing our dollar. All right. That's our 10 buckets of gold concentrate. Now, the way this thing works... Oh, no. This has some in it. How much is in there? Uh, all right. We're, I thought I was going to get to the point of... No, it says it's empty, but it's still showing some in there. Maybe that's just a graphical glitch. I hope that's the case. Uh, because I'm, I'd like to have a scenario where we end up with one full bucket of, of uh, magnetite when we're all finished this. Uh, I need to swap this plug over. or stick this right here. This is all running. Get that started up. And we'll start our separation process. So we'll run each of these through our magnetite separator. Oh, it was full. So look, 52%, 53%. All right, so we're going to end up wasting some of our magnetite, unfortunately, unless I end up with a clean bucket. Uh, which I guess I could probably... I probably could do. Uh, let's grab this. If I run uh, if I run an extra bucket through... This here. Um, through the wavetable early, then uh, that'll certainly get us the, the bucket that we need to make sure that we have... Enough to catch all our magnetite. Okay, so I've maxed out that bucket. We're going to pull this out of here. Uh, it's at like 99%. So I'm just going to set that aside. We're going to run one bucket through the wavetable. So we're at 9.4, say 9.5 at the moment. I think this is all turned on. No, the water is not on. We probably want that. There we go. It was on. All right. Uh, we'll run one bucket through here. So this will give me an empty bucket, and then I can use this to replace the magnetite. So it's 9 point, let's see, 9.5, 9.6 by the time we got this on there. So we got at least an ounce out of the bucket. So if we get like an ounce per bucket, or an ounce and a bit per bucket, we can definitely get well over, well over 20 ounces on this haul, which would be nice. Uh, let's grab this off of here and finish cleaning all this up. Now that's the last bucket of our concentrate, so we've got all of that clean for magnetite. That gives us another 50% pail of magnetite, so we've got like 15, basically 15% 15 worth of a trailer load already. That's not so bad. Now we have nine more pails of the uh, of the concentrate to clean up and see how much gold we can haul out of this. Uh, let's put this back under here. This can get shut off. We're getting pretty down, pretty down to the wire money-wise. Oops, no, put that back. Oh, grab that. Stick that on the wave table. That's all running. All right, let's get these cleaned up. So we're at uh, 11.3 ounces, and actually, those employees are really—they're really churning out the the gold ounces now. I'm kind of liking that. Our last pail of concentrate is going into the wave table. We're gonna get pretty close, I think, to 25 ounces in total by the time we're done here, which is pretty good. Not a bad haul for a day, considering how low we got in capital. Uh, we're definitely gonna come out ahead on the day. Just a question of how much, I guess. So, uh, 24 and a half ounces. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, uh, they were they continue to build up gold accumulation. Uh, the people that I had hired, 
uh, as I was cleaning. So it's a little hard to tell exactly how much I got out of my digging efforts, but I think it was somewhere around 10 or 11 ounces, uh, maybe 12. Roughly roughly an ounce of pale, maybe a tiny bit more, which really isn't so bad. Uh, let's take the, uh, the magnetite trailer down. Uh, we're also going to go get that gold melted down, and we'll sell that off, and we'll see how much we end up with uh, cash-wise by the time we get a chance to actually sell it. All right, we had a little less than 10,000 out of the uh, out of the magnetite trailer this time. I think they might have actually tweaked what it was earning, or maybe tweaked it so there was actually some dirt in the magnetite pails when you use that little trick. But nevertheless, we we're just under $10,000 again. So we got maybe about 8,000 out of that particular trailer load, which again, you know, it's still pretty good. It, it largely paid for my expenses for the day, which means that all the gold that we're accumulating is pretty much just bonus bucks at this point. Uh, it, we were maybe a little bit light of our expenses. I think I had thirteen or 14000 when I got back uh, to the claim and started working on the gold. And then, uh, you know, now after selling that trailer, we're just under ten, So not quite enough to cover our expenses, but pretty good overall. All right, let's melt down all of our gold and it'll be about 25 ounce bar. That's pretty good. Uh, this is actually significantly more gold than I've smelted at, at one time since that one gold nugget we found that was something like 40 ounces or something. Uh, most of the time when I come in here, I'm, you know, I'm smelting four, four to eight ounces at a time. So it's nice that uh, we got a, a decent loadout uh, this time uh, thanks to the, the work that our employees are putting in and then also the amount that we were able to pull out of the ground ourselves using the, the, the double mobile wash plant setup, which seems to work fairly efficiently. It's funny to see like the skid marks appear on the road in front of me. It's just weird. Let's see how much this gold bar is going to earn for us. So, 25 ounces. Uh, we're at 9,000 now. We're going to sell gold bars. Ooh, 27,000 we're getting for that one. For, oh, it was a 22.8 ounce bar by the time we had the loss for the melting or whatever. So that gets us to $36,149, which is significantly better than the 13 or 14,000 we started the day with. So, I'm going to call that a win. Uh, if we can keep that up for a little while, then we'll maybe finally start to get our cash a little bit ahead of the game. We do still have 16 days left on this loan. Uh, which really stinks, because I, I want to get this paid off so we can buy one of the bigger facilities. I mean, I'm thinking my my next purchase, I want to go to the Tier 3 wash plant, but I'm, I don't know whether I should do it at this location or maybe go find another location and try it out just to try a different, slightly different environment. But maybe we'll set it up here uh, so we can kind of tune it in at the, uh, the, uh, the wash, the, uh, the Arnold claim. And then, uh, then we can kind of figure things out from there. But I'm going to call it a wrap for today. I think we made some fairly good progress money-wise. I'm going to try to uh, try to work a little more in between videos and see if we can put some more cash in our pocket. Knock down some more of that loan time frame so that we can go take another loan that'll be even bigger this time because we'll need Tier 3 wash plant stuff. Um, and then, you know, hopefully we can get a little bit ahead on the cash so that uh, we start to uh, maybe not need the full loan amount to pay for all the stuff I want to get. But thanks everyone for checking out the video. I do hope you'll come back and check out some more. We'll definitely be back to play some more Gold Rush and see if we can make our fortune. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.